You're still paying large fees to bankers. You still raised a lot of money on the private market. So what problem are you really solving, Stuart, by doing a direct listing versus the traditional IPO? Well, uh, the, the first one is that no need to raise primary capital. We came into this process with over $800 million on the balance sheet, so the dilution to existing shareholders would have been tough. I think we did get a little bit more freedom in how we tell the story, so it, in addition to a roadshow, but instead of only having a roadshow in private rooms with the investors, we were able to do an investor day, uh, live stream it, and make the video available to everyone, um, and that, I think, is uh, put us in a better position. Now, Alan, Slack is still unprofitable and the markets have rewarded profits, even if they're slim profits. How far out is profitability? Well, our primary focus right now is to invest in growth. And as we continue to build on what we think is a new category, that's going to be our focus for a long time. But we've also said to investors that our near-term uh, priority is to drive towards cash flow break-even. We have high confidence in the strong unit economics of our business that we can still invest very aggressively while driving towards that near-term uh, profitability uh, mark. So then, Stuart, how much of a priority would you say that profitability actually is? I think, uh, I don't want to get too technical about it, in SaaS there's a lot of deferred revenue, so accounting profitability isn't that much of a priority. As Alan was saying, bringing in more cash than we put out on an ongoing basis is a priority because it allows us to control our own destiny. The ideal for us, though, is that we continually find new ways and new opportunities to invest to further grow the business, so we don't need a lot of free cash flow, but uh, just a little bit. Now, Alan, revenue growth is slowing. What are some new sources of revenue you're expecting to tap? Well, we're very pleased with the revenue growth. I think what you're seeing is also we're making great traction with customers, and we've got over 95,000 paid customers today. Our enterprise customers are also growing even faster, so we have 645 customers, over 100K in revenue. And I think what you're seeing is we're scaling. So at the base of revenue that we're at now, some of the revenue growth just mathematically will come down, but we're very uh, optimistic about the opportunity. We believe there's a huge new category to be built and invested behind, so we're focused on that.